So this is my normal setup when I do my flat lay photography or my flat lay images on my desk with my main light and everything is on my desk. Very simple, easy, convenient and a bit of expensive gear is used for this. However, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can do exactly the same with your smartphone. No expensive gear will be used or is needed for this simple, easy, effective. And I'm going to show you how you can get great images out of your smartphone. So here's our setup. Basically, we're going to do it in front of a window. No expensive lights will be used. Two little tips before you set up your table or if you got space in front of a window, you can set it up on the floor, however you want to do it, however it fits in your house where you live. Having a curtain definitely will diffuse the light as well. So having a curtain will act as a diffuser already, which is definitely handy to have. Second, a tripod is definitely handy if you wanted to do any sort of after post processing or anything similar, you wanted to merge images or overlay images, a tripod is definitely handy to have, but no must have. You can do it also via hand or handheld and take your image. That's entirely up to you. So basically what we're going to do today is we're going to photograph basically my DJI Mavic Mini 2 as a subject. You can choose any subject you got or any subject you would like to photograph. So as mentioned already, we're going to photograph the DJI Mavic Mini 2 today. We need the subject and I put some props here on the side already as well, just to make it a bit more interesting, the image and give the image some sort of story as well. If you guys want to use the phone and the tripod, then it's probably definitely handy to get one of those tripod holders. They're fairly cheap and I can link them down in the comments as well for you to check them out. So tripod wise, again, it's a cheap travel tripod, nothing crazy. You get tripods for like 30 pounds upwards. So very simple, easy, cheap tripod, but it will do the job for here what we're going to do. There are probably two things you want to do with your iPhone when using a camera. You want to switch your grid on and also we're going to put a three second timer on when taking an image that there's no vibration with the tripod so that we get a nice sturdy or steady image with no camera shake at all. And if we're taking our first shot, how it is with the window light coming from the right hand side and taking our first shot with the timer to minimize any vibration. And this is basically our first shot we got out. Looks pretty good. Nothing crazy, nothing too interesting yet. So now what we're basically going to do, we're going to have some props such as like a controller from a DJI Mavic Mini 2, which we can add into this corner just to fill out the corner. We got a little plant we can put in a left hand side corner just to give the image a bit of depth because the plant is fairly high. So it will give you a bit of depth in the image. We also got some sort of like ND filters we're going to put on now. We can add some here in the right hand side corner just to fill out the corner. So now we're having basically our fully set flat lay image. We've got some sort of props going in a corner just to make it interesting or the image a bit more interesting. We've got our main subject which is in the middle of a picture. We did switch our grid on just to make sure we can frame our image in general a bit better and could follow the rules of third if we wanted to and move a bit the drone around. So let's say you would have on the left hand side a few shadows you want to fill out. You could add a bit of positive fill with a piece of white paper and you just hold it on the side here. Take another image and you can see the before and after in a second with a positive fill and without a positive fill. The shadows got lifted a bit and let's say you wanted to do a bit of post processing or you're gonna have an app where you do a post-processing. Using a tripod is definitely handy. You could merge several images now together, overlay them, lower them, bring them up and work in Photoshop a bit with your image to get a better balanced image out. However, as in general speaking guys, when you're using a natural light or soft light with the curtains, make sure that you don't have any harsh sunlight coming through the window and if you're not going for a specific harsh sunlight look. But generally speaking, this is the easiest and cheapest way how you can get nice looking flat lay images without massive gear use. 
simple smartphone, a smartphone holder, anti-tripod, and a piece of white foam, and you get fantastic images out of it. So guys, as you have seen, very simple setup. All you need is basically a window, ideally a curtain, two diffuser light already, your smartphone. If you want to use a tripod, you can use a tripod. Otherwise, you can do this handheld, but the tripod is recommended if you want to do some post-processing with any sort of Photoshop program or you want to do a couple of merged pictures, then a tripod is definitely handy because it will make your life easier. Elsewise, you don't need much. Your main subject, you want to photograph. Maybe some props to give the image a whole feeling or to tell a story. Something what will work with your main subject. And then maybe a piece of white carton to bounce some light into the shadows. And that's literally it. Very simple, easy. I used the main app from an iPhone, put the three second timer on and I had my grid on just to make sure that I can frame my image better with the rules of third and that's all what was needed today and i hope you liked this video guys and if you do hit the thumbs up button like comment subscribe do all the good stuff and i'm gonna see you my friend very soon in another video cheers guys